Hello guys, welcome back to Lane's Trains and more. And today I got a new video. So when I was learning about Titanic, I heard there was a theory that if the ship collided with an iceberg head on, that it would survive. So this is how the theory works. If the ship collided with an iceberg head on, only two compartments would flood. And the Carpathia would make it to the scene and all the passengers and crew would have survived. With people in the when in the battleship who wouldn't be, have minor injuries. But however, many people have debunked this theory. So now it's my turn. This is how I debunk how Titanic could survive a head-on collision with an iceberg. First of all, was the design of the ship. Titanic was designed to not survive collision with icebergs. It was made to survive collision with other ships. If Titanic collided with Lusitania, both ships will have equal amount of damage. The water type compartments will flood, but how if forward completely flooded, then the dry water type compartments will keep the ship afloat. Fun fact, Titanic's older sister, RMS Olympic, once had a collision with another ship called the Hawk on its fifth voyage in 1911. In the collision, two water type compartments in the Olympic flooded. But the dry war type apartments keep the ship afloat. And Hawk's bow was completely destroyed. But however, the ship survived. And both ships were making back to shore for repairs. But climbing with an iceberg is not the same as climbing with another ship. During the collision, most of the damage was taken by Titanic. And also, it's worth it to remember that the Titanic was going at full speed. So if Titanic climbed with the iceberg and on, that many holes will tear in the ship, and the ship will sink in minutes instead of hours. Even the ship did stay afloat, there were a lot of serious injuries, because the force of collision would not go just through the bow, but the entire ship. Plus the Titanic going at full speed surely did not help. And finally, the ship might have stayed afloat from the collision, if the watertight doors were closed before the collision. But in real life, after Titanic struck the iceberg, the watertight doors were shut seconds after the collision, causing water to spill into the 6th, 7th, and the rest of the compartments, causing Titanic to sink. If the watertight doors were shut after the head collision, then the ship might have been at its doom. And with that, that's all the reasons why I debunk how Titanic could survive a head-on collision with the iceberg. So hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye!